Good morning, everybody. Um, just wanted to uh, share with you my experience on having purchased a second Breen Love, um, this time from Zounds online, zounds.com. Uh, everything looked to be new original packaging, looked like this unit would have been returned or anything, um, but definitely a bit of an issue. You can see here, I spent a good part of the morning trying to get this thing able to play and uh, my concern is this is quite a disappointment out of the box the strings were unplayable um, they were covered in corrosion and very flat sounding um, dark in color uh, just pretty rough so that was the first order of business well, when we got the strings off Second order of business was every single one of these tuners um, was probably a sixteenth or more off, um, not tight. And um, then I looked there further at the actual fingerboard, and it looks like somebody's really wailed on this thing with a sander to get these inlays down, and uh, it just looks like trash, really. Um, and for anybody interested in why I'm being so critical, I've done auto body and manufacturing here in the United States, um, most of my life. And we own a domestic manufacturing company and we have quality control standards too. Um, and this is, this is pretty low rent. Uh, you can see the waves in the, in the, <laughs> in the fingerboard, um, and mind you, let me point out, this is a breed love guitar. This is a $900 guitar. 849 or 899 or 799 now I can't remember exactly um, and then you look at the joint here from the neck to the body let me see if I can zoom in on this you can almost see daylight under the glue um, I'm gonna try and zoom in here even tighter let's see there we go this is an $800 breed love and this is how they assembled it it's uh, Pretty, pretty terrible, frankly. Um, let's look down in here at the truss rod adjustment. You can see that hole's uh, splintered and boogered up. It, it is not drilled straight. I uh, tried to get to the truss rod um, to give it a little bit of relief because the strings were flat against the frets when it showed up. And I can't even turn the truss rod enough to uh, put any relief in this guitar. Um, so, kind of a bummer. And... Um, yeah, that's uh, zoom in here and show you kind of what what the frets on the sides were. I was taking a just a an emery board to try and clean them up so they could sound halfway decent against strings. But you can see, I mean, this thing is uh, poorly cared for before it arrived at my door, and uh, frankly, some of the lowest quality uh, I've seen on a guitar that doesn't even cost four hundred bucks. Look here, look at this. You can see grind sanding marks right here on either side of this you can feel it it's sticking up and the wood's low on both sides same here this one's really really bad you can see where it's just up and down and up and down and this is a da sander where somebody's turned up on its edge and dug into the wood and turned it into a piece of bacon um brie love if you guys are paying attention this is qc stuff guys and it's it's left a really 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 um, disappointed feeling after now uh, being super excited to order this concertina uh, to go along with my concerto that I bought less than a month ago and couldn't be happier with. So to go from one breed love to another and to go from elation to utter disappointment um, is the reality of buying guitars, unfortunately. Um, I hope that uh, Breed Love can stand behind this product and uh, do something to, um, you know, make this right. This is, uh, you know, this is one of their highest end uh, Asian built guitars before you get into the Oregon series. And I don't think that you should have to suffer the quality and the cost cutting um, to, to not be able to play a guitar for 800 bucks. I can't play this guitar. As well as I can play this $350 import Yamaha that 
just needed a truss rod adjustment and no neck work. I, I, I tried to work on these frets, a lot of, quite a bit of fret sprout uh, when it got here. So I've gotten it to where at least it won't draw blood when I try to play it. Um, but again, 800 bucks to 300 bucks. And I'll take this any day, every day, all day. And I would recommend that to anybody who's considering a breed love at this point. Um, I'm really, really, really disappointed. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do at this stage. I'm going to contact breed love and Zounds and see if, uh, maybe they can do something. And, uh, but I guess in the meantime, I'll be here playing my little cheap, uh, laminate side Yamaha wishing that I had a, a really pretty Myrtle would breed love to string up and play and enjoy as much as I do this, you know, big box store, uh, mass made jobby here that just never seems to let me down. Unlike my new breed love. Bummer.